So Johnny, we can see that the cost of doing transactions on the Ethereum blockchain is going up. Is this of importance? Well, arguably it is because Ethereum got a major challenge on its hands because of the price of gas. I, the cost of doing a transaction um, has actually been increasing as the popularity of using the Ethereum blockchain has risen. And in many ways, it's becoming sort of a victim of its own success as we're seeing the vast majority of initial coin offerings that were issued were actually launched on the Ethereum blockchain. And as these um, projects become more and more viable, they're attracting more and more users. Um, if we look also at something like the stablecoin market, and we see that the third most valuable cryptocurrency is now Tether, and it's grown to an incredible $9.6 billion in size. And it's used for a lot of transactions when people are moving from one cryptocurrency to another or just as holding it. And that's all transactions happening on the Ethereum blockchain. And so what we're actually seeing, it may well find that it becomes uneconomical for people to use Ethereum and use some of the services on there unless they can get that cost down. Now, there are firms looking at, into this. Um, there's a company called Loopring um, who are working ways to make Ethereum more efficient and ultimately cheaper. And there's also Ethereum themselves have developed um, their layer two um, uh, protocol, and that's hoping to be launched on, well, and it was meant to be this year, now they're talking about um, January 2021, called Serenity. And that's going to be rewriting a lot of the actual Ethereum. So effectively, you're going to get Ethereum blockchain Mark II, and this will actually introduce sharding and a shift from proof of works to proof of stake, which um, Vitaly and Butrick and his sort of community of developers hope that it will actually increase the transaction speed from 15 per second to 1,000 a second. So once we actually see Serenity being launched, we could then see a whole load new protocol tokens being launched. And if it's a success, will we then start seeing Ethereum being used not just for initial coin offerings, but security token offerings where we're likely to see much greater involvement of institutions or indeed will we see governments and corporations looking to launch their own digital currencies on a platform that is much more scalable and cost efficient.